I do know nice guys finish last, but good boys get free coffee. So that's how <laughs> I identify. It is, it's, it's, I live in Chicago now, um, permanently, but I am down here. I lived in New York for a while and then I went through a breakup, uh, with an ex. We'll call her Amanda, even though her name's Melissa. And Melissa, Melissa and I, we broke up and I moved back here to my hometown back then. Um, and I needed to get a job and I had a lot of experience serving and bartending. So I decided to apply to work at Hooters. Hooters? Have you heard of it? We all have uncles. We know what Hooters is. <laughs> I applied as a joke, honestly, because I thought it would be fun. Because I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not a Hooters girl. I'm not, a, I'm not, a, look, I'm like a move that table Hooters girl at best. You know, <laughs> like sporty hoot. Does it work like Spice Girls? I don't know. And so I applied kind of as a joke, honestly. I, I, I don't get the idea of a Hooters if I'm being if I'm being honest, like I don't get, I feel like, I feel like dudes go to Hooters thinking that they're going to like take home a Hooters girl, you know, just take her home and which is a, it's a bananas, that's a bananas idea. So, okay, okay, okay. So you think that you're going to, you're going to eat food that's brought to you by a hot person and then that hot person is going to see you eating that food and think, oh my God, I have to f him. Oh my God. There's so much tongue when he ate the chicken wings. <laughs> and I told that to the manager when he was interviewing me. <laughs> and the manager was like, oh, that's a pretty good point. Can you hula hoop? <laughs> and then I told him, I told him he didn't have to worry about me going home with any of the customers because I'm a lesbian. And then the manager said, oh, really? Yeah, you know, most of the other women who work here are lesbians too. And I said, I'm sorry, what? And he said, yeah, most of our staff right now is also gay ladies. And I said, I would like to work here, please. Because listen, I could do it. I could do it. I could fuck. I could do it. I could do it. I could do it. I could hoot. I could see hoot. I could do it. I could do it. And listen, maybe I don't agree with the idea of a Hooters. Maybe I don't agree with the idea of it. Maybe, but, but I, you know, this is how I justified it to myself. I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe I could like, maybe I could like get hired by Hooters. And then I could, I could, uh, I could infiltrate the system. I could, oh, I could get in there and I could bring down the patriarchy from the inside. I could topple, I could, I could liberate all these other women who happen to also be lesbians. And we moved to the second portion of the interview. And the, the, the second portion of the interview, uh, what they do is they put you in the Hooters outfit and then they take a picture of you and they send it to Hooters headquarters. Are you surprised? I was. I had shaved nothing. They had to be like, why is this bush applying to, we don't, we don't hire shrubbery at Hooters. <laughs> While I was there, I got to talk to some of, some of the other women who worked there and they were smart women. They were smart. They were sexy women. They were using their sexuality to make money in a way that they didn't need liberated. You know what I mean? And I wish, I wish we lived in a world where, where, where a Hooters or any restaurant didn't exist. But I also wish truck nuts weren't a thing. And here we are. So, I don't know, I guess I went in wanting to change Hooters, and I feel like Hooters changed me, is what I would say if they hired me, but they didn't, and I was so fucking pissed. I was like, oh no, <laughs> no, 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 excuse you Hooters Hitlers at headquarters, who do you, nay, hoot, do you think you are? You know, I have brought martinis to Wall Street executives. What, I can't bring a Bud Light to a Caterpillar Tractor Factory employee? I am overqualified in so many aspects. Granted, very underqualified in other tits and aspects, but that's not the important part. And as I was, as I was leaving, the manager was like, if you wait three weeks, you can reapply again. And I was like, oh, can I? Can I? Can I? Great, well, I'm going to wait those three weeks. I'm going to reapply, and then I'm going to burn this Hooters to the f***ing ground. Thank you for the opportunity. And I left <laughs> and I got diabolical. I ordered an outfit from online. I ordered a Hooters outfit from online so I could put it on and be like, like look at myself in the mirror and be like, okay, am I Hooters now? Is this Hooters? Am I Hooters? Am I Hooters now? Is this Hooters? Hoot I, it was like a sad sequel to a movie called Hooters 2. This time, tits personal. And there was this moment, there was this moment where, where, where I was looking at myself in the mirror and I caught my own eyes. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, God, Whitney, what are you doing?
oh, what are you doing? This isn't a joke anymore. This is turned very serious. What are you doing? What are you doing? This isn't you with, oh God, this isn't you. This isn't you. You're not a Hooters girl. You're a good boy.